Why does this statue of Jesus right here have his back turned to the Freemasons logo that's in the middle of the graveyard? Well, that and the other mysteries that are hidden by the Freemasons are next on the trumpet. Actually, there's two statues of Jesus in this graveyard, and both of them have their back turned to that Masonic logo. Don't beat that one right there and that one right there. I'm not a Freemason, but my stepfather was. And when he passed away, I found out how deep he was into it, all the way up to the 32nd degree in the Royal Order of the Jesters. He never told me about being a member of the oldest continuously operating Freemasons Lodge in the Western Hemisphere. But when he passed away, he left me some memorabilia that I don't think you guys know what you're getting into. Former presidents of the United States were invited to be in the Royal Order of the Jesters. And according to federal prosecutors, the Jesters frequently employed strippers and prostitutes at their parties, with some of the prostitutes being illegally transported over state lines for Jesters events. The Royal Court of the Jesters is only allowed to have 13 members in it, and it's by invitation only. And you have to be a Shriner and a Master Mason. But asking to join will almost certainly result in the individual never being accepted. He was about 90 years old, walked up on Omaha Beach during World War II, and obviously good enough to be invited into the Royal Order of the Jesters, where mirth is king. In 2008, they got in trouble with the Supreme Court for that thing right there. Those people did. No telling what kind of strings they pulled to get themselves out of that one. A long time ago, my stepdad was just a master mason. And when the master masons asked Jesus Christ, what is the great commandment? He said right here in the Bible that thou shalt love thy father in heaven with all thy heart and all thy soul and all thy mind. And the second commandment is like unto it, that thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. And upon those two commandments hang all the law and the prophets. And then Jesus asked the Pharisees, who is the Messiah? Who is the Christ? And the Pharisees said, the son of David. Those guys had no idea what they were talking about and had been taught all wrong. But this is what Jesus Christ said to them right after they called him master. Neither be ye called master, for one is your master, even Christ. That Freemason's logo is right there behind where Jesus Christ has his back turned on it. And that scripture right here is something that I want you to read. Come unto me, all ye that labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. The Freemasons will tell you that their whole fraternity is the oldest fraternity of men, and that it's not based on religion whatsoever. Yet right in the middle of every Freemason's hall, there's a Bible right in the middle of the room on an altar. And as for the oldest fraternity of men, well, that's going to be the fallen angels that descended onto Mount Hermon and swore themselves together by mutual implications that they would deceive mankind. But in deception is what this thing is all about. It's a bilkin. That thing. That thing. This thing right here, a charm doll. That's going to be their mascot. And that's because they have a Jesuit identity. They've always been a pretty colorful group there. The current Pope is of this order. And so is this guy right here. I'm going to show you these things because I certainly believe that you have no idea exactly where you're headed. A challenge coin is something that you carry around to prove that you're in a certain organization. And then you can look up all these words that are in Latin. And you think you're not headed there? It doesn't matter if it's your stepfather or your forefather. They all think that somehow they're going to ascend into heaven. You can zoom in and see what he's holding in his hand right there. I bet all their kids found all the same things that I did. Be sober. Be vigilant. Because your adversary, the devil, as a roaring lion walketh about, seeking whom he may devour. What's so special about the number 33 with the Freemasons? The Tower of Babel is built right there on the 33rd parallel. The oldest fraternity of men are the fallen angels, and they descended onto Mount Hermon right there on the 33rd parallel. And they're the ones that taught mankind how to build things out of brick 
and that would be called Masons. And they're the ones that built the Tower of Babel. Jesus Christ transfigured in front of the apostles right there on Mount Hermon. But if you go across the pond over to Charleston, South Carolina, home of the Freemasons, where they were supposed to get lodge number one, but Savannah got lodge number one because the boat broke down and they got the charter first. But anyway, they're right there on the 33rd parallel. That is where this book come from. The 33rd degree Freemasons. They wrote that with the Supreme Council of the 33rd degree right there in Charleston, South Carolina on the 33rd degree. King David reigned over Jerusalem for 33 years. People thought a lot about King David. What think ye of Christ? Whose son is he? They say unto him, the son of David. The Pharisees are talking to Jesus Christ, and they think that the son of David is Christ? Who did they think David is? King David did this on year one of his 33-year reign. And David commanded to gather together the strangers that were in the land of Israel. And he sent masons to hew wrought stones to build the house of God. He said, this is where the altar is. Exodus 20. And if thou wilt make me an altar of stone, thou shalt not build it of hewn stone. For it shall lift up thy tool upon it, thou hast polluted it. And when the masons hewed the wrought stones, they polluted it. They told Jesus that they thought Christ was the son of David. After a seven-year covenant with the people, he became the king of Jerusalem. And after that seven-year term in Hebron, he ruled over Jerusalem for 33 years. Jesus Christ was crucified at 33 years of age. Called no man master. That's in the book. You know, David wrote the Psalms. And it says that my substance was not hid from thee when I was made in secret and curiously wrought in the lowest parts of the earth. The reason why I'm pointing these things out is the Pharisees didn't know the truth, but I want you to know the truth because Jesus asked them a question and they didn't know how to answer him. But if ye had known what this meaneth, I will have mercy and not sacrifice. You would not have condemned the guiltless. See the little mark right there by the showbread, that C? Go look up that verse right there, and you're going to know the meaning of that scripture. And go look up that little F right there, right over there. You know me and my family love you, so like and follow the trumpet for more. And in Jesus' name, have a blessed day.